Hey, how's it going? And today I wanted to do a little quick video on using Glycon for motion capture. I'm actually using this with Lightwave to animate some characters for some short films I'm working on. And Glycon is available over at Liberty 3D. I'm not affiliated with it in any way. It's just a program that I'm using and I'm having fun learning it. Now I have Glycon and I'm using the Oculus Rift system so all I have is the the headset and two touch controllers. Chilton has really expanded it using Vive controllers but unfortunately I have the Oculus Rift system and I don't have any the trackers. So today I thought it would be fun just to kind of walk you through using Glycon with Oculus Rift. So I do apologize a little bit for the video because it's a little choppy. I think it was more than my system could handle between the VR and then the uh, software recording. Here I am in the program and I've got the headset in and I've got the two touch controllers. And when I first came in, I, I came in like that, really wonky. I tried doing was, I literally had to just move myself physically to center myself. And then once I pressed B, I could sit and stand and I was gonna just doing some animations here. He has instructions for the Steam VR, but this is Oculus Rift. So for Oculus Rift, really what you've got is the thumb controller. Forward is the green block for building your virtual set. Going to the right is the laser controller. Backward is the red block and left is to clear. And then what you do is you pull the trigger each time you wanna place a block and then when you're trying to, using the red block to destroy what you've created, you just can hold the trigger down. So now I'll kind of walk you through that right here. So here I am and I pushed forward and I've got the green block now and I pull the trigger and I can start placing these blocks. And I have to say, this is actually super cool. And he has, the program has changed so much from just some of the earlier versions. And now here I've got the thumb controller back and I'm pressing the trigger down with my index finger to break up the blocks. So this was actually, I think my second time using the program. So here I just run through the thumb controller here, uh, forward, right, back, to the left to clear. It's kind of addictive, just like once you get into VR, it, it's a lot of fun. And then up here, he has instructions. So I is for instructions, and it's right there on the wall. That's for adjusting the scale of your character. This is for creating virtual set. So this is useful if you're wanting to create an object in 3D that you want to interact with. And then what you can do is import these blocks into Lightwave and then it gives you the reference point for where you want to put your 3D objects. And then of course, lastly, you've got export your animation and export your set. Now, one thing I did discover, so here I'm building, putting some blocks down. I've got the thumb controller pressed forward and I'm pressing the trigger. To get these blocks to record out as objects, you have to, from this, once you've got them placed, you've got to click export set and once you click export set then when you go to record the blocks will be in there now on the controller themselves you've got y on the left hand is record on and off x is to reset the rig b is to sit and stand and a is to go into live mode for recording so when you're ready to record what you're going to do is you're just going to press a and then that'll take you into live mode and once in live mode you press y and then that'll turn recording off and on so here i pressed a I believe, and I'm in live mode. I can't see the top of the screen. It looks like I'm toggling off and on recording. So the red light means that I'm in record mode. So I'm just playing around right here, just practicing some animations and seeing how it goes. I'm trying to box a little bit. I'm trying different hand gestures and things like that. And I'm pretty stationary. Of course, I can only move my upper body but if you get the vibe trackers, now here it looks like I just recentered myself right there. Oh, and I'm not sure, I must have pressed a sit and now I'm really wonky there. So it takes a little while to get your orientation and figure out kind of where you are. But once you do, it's actually very straightforward. And then when you're done, you click that to export the animation. And when you do that, it, the whole system bogs down of naturally, of course, because it's exporting a lot of data. And then, so you can't really do anything during this export process. But you just have to remember if you want the blocks to be exported, you have to hit export set before you go into live mode. Then you can toggle on record and it'll all be recorded when you go to export. And what'll happen is these files will end up in a file either on your desktop or in documents and it'll say my file ended up on the desktop and it'll say glycon fbx and in there you'll see your fbx file 
and then you'll see your object files. The object files can be opened in Modeler and then sent over to Layout. So it's a really great program. I see a lot of potential for it. I am just amazed at how far it's come in a relatively short time. I understand that he's planning on raising the price for it. So honestly, I would get it now, <laughs> considering at least getting the current version. And so at least you have something to play with before the prices go up. But anyway, I think it's a great program that has a lot of potential. And off goes my headset. And that's it. So take care and have a great day.